The Post Horizontal Timeline is an innovative design widget that can be used on the Elementor website to present chronological events or milestones in a visually appealing way. Let's get started. First, make sure the Unlimited Elements Pro version is installed and activated on your WordPress site. Then, head over to Unlimited Elements, Widgets, and use the search bar to find Post Horizontal Timeline. Hover over it and click Install to add the widget to your site. Next, go to the page you want to edit and drag and drop the Post Horizontal Timeline widget from the Widgets pane onto your Elementor canvas. Start by selecting the post image size. Then toggle the autoplay option to yes if you want the timeline to autoplay. Also toggle the loop option to yes. Selecting the autoplay hover pause option will pause the autoplay on mouse hover. Choose the number of items to display at once. Then adjust the autoplay timeout and transition speed accordingly. Add the button text for the posts the number of characters for the post intro. Select the stage padding type accordingly. Then toggle the center option to yes to make the timeline centered. Toggle the RTL option to yes if you want to show the timeline from right to left. Now let's adjust the layout settings. Toggle the show arrows, dots and category options according to your design layout. Then select the show date option to either before icon, after icon, or hide. You can add the date meta field to get the date from the post meta field or ACF field. Toggle the show title, intro and button options for posts accordingly. Select the bullet type to either an icon or index. Then toggle the show content, pointer and vertical line options according to your layout. If you have selected to show the arrows, then you can choose both left and right arrow icons from here. In the Post Query option, select the post source to either Custom Posts, Current Query Posts, Related Posts, or Manual Selection. Then, select the post type from Posts, Pages, Woo Products, Custom Post Types, and more. If you want to show a specific term, then you can add that in the Include by Term option. Choose the maximum number of posts you want to display on the timeline. Select the post's order and the order direction accordingly. We also have the option to add a query ID if needed. Select the posts pagination option to numbers or using pagination widget if needed. In this section, we can also enable the post filtering option. Select the filter's behavior according to your layout. You have the flexibility to use any filter type such as tabs filter, checkbox, dropdown, or search filter. This is an example of a post horizontal timeline connected with a tabs filter widget. You can even copy and paste this example from our website to yours without any hassle. Now let's dive into the style settings to tailor the widget to your design needs. Choose the item layout to either regular or reverse. Then select the border width and color and also set the alignment of the content according to your design. Adjust the image height and image opacity to match your design. Then continue to customize the spacing, item height, padding, typography, and colors of every element in your post horizontal timeline widget to achieve a seamless blend with your website design. To wrap up the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials. Start using unlimited elements and give your Elementor website superpowers. We can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.